This video is sponsored by Sell Your Mac. The release candidate for iOS 16.2 was just dropped about an hour ago, and I have it installed here because there are a couple of things, well, really one main thing that we can show off, and another thing that is worth mentioning. And Apple just actually announced via a press release some new iCloud encryption. And so basically, Apple is calling this Advanced Data Protection for iCloud, which will now add end-to-end -end encryption for iCloud backups, notes, photos, iCloud Drive, and much more. With advanced data protection enabled, the only iCloud categories that are not covered by end-to-end -end encryption include iCloud Mail, Calendar, and your contacts. And so basically Apple is giving you way more control of your data that's being stored up in the cloud, giving you that peace of mind knowing that whenever you upload something to the cloud, it now has end-to-end -end encryption available for everything except for the things that I just mentioned, which would be iCloud Mail, Contacts, and Calendar. And if you wanna read more about that, Apple actually released a full-on press release, but you can also visit MacRumors.com for all of the details surrounding that. And Apple also introduced Apple Music Sing. That was actually announced yesterday, and today it has showed up in the release candidate. And so basically it turns Apple Music, the lyrics section, where you can kind of follow along with the lyrics, that's not new. But what is new is turning on the new Sing feature, which will basically make that song into a karaoke version of the song that you're listening to. And you can adjust the vocals and the level of the vocals and whether or not you want to sing with the artist or if you want to kind of turn them off completely and sing karaoke karaoke style and follow along with the lyrics. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I have not tested this out yet. We're gonna be doing this together. And so I have no idea what to expect, but let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and open up Apple Music. And I'm going to take a guess that a lot of this is probably limited to very popular music. Uh, I'm gonna try a bunch of different artists, but I'm guessing that it's probably not available for everyone, but who knows? I have no idea. Again, I have not tested this, but let's go ahead and just click on a major category here. Let's just go ahead and go to the alternative music station. Okay, so we have Paramore. They're pretty popular. Let's see if we turn on the lyrics here. Um, that's how you get to Apple Music Sing. You go ahead and tap on the lyrics button and you should have the ability to toggle on sing, but I'm not seeing it for this song. And so I'm guessing that it's not available. And so let's try something else. Okay, so here it is. So this is from uh, artist Girl in Red. It's serotonin, never heard of it. But if you go ahead and click on this little sing button, you now have a slider, and that basically gives you the ability to uh, change the vocals and um, kind of give you more vocals or less vocals. And so that will help simulate the feeling of a karaoke song. I don't want to get copyright striked, so I don't know how much of this I can do, uh, but I'm going to turn it up a little bit so that we can get an idea. So yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. I'm gonna turn that off. It's doing a pretty good job of bringing the vocal. You can hear them just a little bit. It's not fully removed from the song, but you can definitely tell that it's way in the background, giving you the ability to be the lead vocals. So if I turn it all the way up and turn it back on, you can hear that the song sounds the way it is. And then if I turn it all the way down, now you can't even hear the lyrics. Um, so that's pretty cool. And so as I mentioned before, I'm guessing that it's not available for every song. The first song that I turned on from Paramore here, it did not have that ability, but I've been skipping through a lot of these and so far I've only seen one or two that have not worked. Most of these are definitely showing you the sing function here where you can go through. Yeah, I'm skipping through like eight in a row here. Okay, this one from Weezer, very popular artist, but this song particularly does not have the Apple Music Sing option available. Speaking of not available, this feature unfortunately is not available for everyone. It's only compatible with iPhone 11 through iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone SE third generation, meaning the most recent iPhone SE. For iPads, it's compatible with the iPad mini sixth generation, the iPad nine or later, the iPad air fourth generation or later, 
iPad Pro 11 inch third gen and later and the iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth gen and later. And for the Apple TV, it's only available on the new 2022 Apple TV 4K, which just came out about a month ago. And so that's Apple Music Sing. Of course, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you disappointed I didn't sing for you? Uh, are you disappointed that it's not available on your device? Is this something you're going to use? I was looking at some, I don't wanna say obscure bands, but music that I listened to that I wouldn't think this feature would be available for right at launch. It actually is available for some of these songs, but it's weirdly available only on certain songs from the same album. So again, I have no idea what the qualifications are for this. Um, like it's not available on this one, but it's available on this one. I don't know. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new release candidate for 16.2. And if you're excited for 16.2, let us know in those comments. And before we do end this video, I want to give you more information about today's sponsor, SellYourMac.com. SellYourMac.com is now an OWC company, and SellYourMac.com is the number one most trusted Apple trade and website out there. The website helps Apple users get cash back on their used devices to help fund new Apple device purchases. So whether you are upgrading to the iPhone 14 lineup, or you have a Mac sitting in your closet from your last upgrade, you can get an instant price using the trade-in tool. For a limited time, you can get a $15 bonus on every item over $100 if you head on over to sellyourmac.com right now, which is the safest and easiest place to trade in your used Apple devices. So click the link in the description down below for more details. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.